Hello, walkers, and welcome back to Livingston, Montana. Uh, I was sort of in my head here thinking about the road trip that I just, uh, the videos of which I just finished up. Um, my name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide on City Walks, where we wander around and explore and notice and uh, just kind of wander about finding things. I do talk a lot on this channel, so be forewarned on that. A um, couple little news items here. One, I did just post the last of our East Coast road trip videos. Such a cool trip for us, so much fun. Uh, didn't get to do all the videos I wanted to do, but I did a lot, and it was, uh, it was really cool. So I hope you guys have enjoyed those. Um, we are back in Montana now, as you would have guessed. Um, I haven't done a Livingston walk uh, in a long time, so I thought I'd do that. It's a little strange, actually, to be filming again uh, after hmm, two months or so. As I uh, hustle past this gentleman issuing his mail. It is 10 a.m. on a Sunday, so it's going to be a quiet day around Livingston. It is mid-February, mid to late February. It is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> I want to thank our Patreon supporters. Uh, it's a lot of fun uh, interacting with you guys on the Patreon uh, platform, and I really do appreciate all your support. Um, it's really encouraging, and it actually does help. So uh, that is awesome, and I appreciate it. We are currently walking down Calendar Street, it's uh, technically West Calendar. I think a bit more of heading south because we're on a diagonal. Um, anyways, a couple little updates here. One, this is not going to be a particularly long video uh, because I had COVID last week and I'm not quite feeling 100%. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot about that except to say uh, I would not have wanted to have that uh, at all, but surely not without having all my shots and boosters and that's all I'm going to say on that because it's a controversial topic and That's not this is not the forum. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are all Healthy and safe out there and stay healthy and safe um, Oh look at this. I want if you go back and look at some of our other videos There used to be a house here and I have not noticed that they've torn it out um I know the owner, I think he still owns this, of this. This used to be a hospital. He, he's an architect. And as he said, like the cobbler's kids have no shoes, he works on this when he gets a chance. And um, it's a really cool old building. And he has done quite a bit with it. And I can't wait to see it when it's finished someday. We're going to cross Yellowstone here. Uh, oh. That is the siren song of Livingston, as I call it. Uh, it's pervasive, the railroad sounds here. <clears throat> you tend to, I tend to drown it out, um, but little kids can't always do that. Um, I think I've mentioned in the past, you mentioned in the past how frustrating I would get with that when my little my kids were little and they'd be trying to take a nap we'd get a couple an hour of peace and then they'd be almost down and that thing would go off um we're gonna go up here to fifth street um partly because i want to show you some other things we haven't we don't usually come down this way uh, i love these motion sculptures here um you see an ERA landmark sign up here. It's a real estate sign. <clears throat> this is a former school, now turned into condos. It's pretty nice in there. I haven't been in there in years, but it was pretty nice when I looked last. This house over here is finally finished. I've been working on that for a while. I think it's owned by a uh, builder, and again, Think folks like that they do the work themselves and they they get to it when they can when they're not busy earning a living so totally understand 
why that might take a while. I love these old Victorian-esque homes, craftsman-style homes. <clears throat> One of the things I wanted to do was point out um, this gray house up here on the left with the flags. It is owned by some friends of ours named Mick and Donald, and they run a bed and breakfast. And they had some financing issues uh, they had to sort out, so they went offline for a year or so, and they're back. And they, the, the inside of this place is absolutely amazing. They've done an amazing job. They sort of designed and with but themselves and with help from their artist friends and they're great guys they have music on the porch sometimes they have great food uh and it's just a really nice place and here's where my ego comes i like those planners too here's where my ego comes in uh and this was so flattering um they had a guest come and say tell them that she just had to see Livingston because she had seen one of these walks and thought it was such a cute town. And I cannot tell you how good that makes me feel. I'm getting a little tingle just thinking about it now. So I love the fact that I uh, sung the praises of our little town here. I love the fact that um, somebody loved this little town enough to come visit. And I love the fact that they stayed at the Stone's Throw bed and breakfast. Uh, <clears throat> that's a win, 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 win. So, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys. That's a big positive for the day. Um, we, the weather this year has been um, fine, you know, it's pretty dry. We could use some more snow for sure. Uh, it has not been particularly cold. Uh, we've had a couple cold snaps and we're gonna have one starting tomorrow, like for two days, I think. It's gonna get down to zero as a, a high of zero degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's pretty cold, but it's two days. And we had some earlier in the year, but not really too bad. Uh, I'm not sure what the snowpack is, but I think in this area it's pretty low. Um, for the, and they do that as a percentage of normal for this time of year. So usually it'll be like 80% of normal or 90% of normal or 110% of normal. I guess normal would be 100% of normal. Uh, I love these houses. Um, so I'm going to go out here in the street so we get a better view. Uh, so we're going to walk down to the river again just because I do, oh, a cute little dog. I do like going down to the river. We have such a beautiful spot here in Livingston. And the uh, river makes, is a big part of that. Got some kids out here riding their bicycles. And I love the fact that, and on skates, look at this car. Slow down, it look like they might cross. People are going slow here and taking their time. And uh, I don't focus on, I don't film kids on here. So I'm gonna direct the camera up Clark here which is Lewis Clark Geysers, how the streets go down here. Cross, folks are gonna let me do that. And then we got this house over here. That's, that's all I'm gonna say on that. <laughs> Love this little neighborhood. Okay then, 
Um, so we're on 5th, and we're... What else am I going to tell you guys? Oh yeah, leave me a comment if you guys uh, are into it. Um, I love hearing your thoughts. I love hearing your questions and trying to answer them. Love uh, hearing your memories and even your corrections and clarifications and additions. Um, I don't do a ton of research on these walks. I don't really have to on Livingston because I live here. Um, but, uh, and I like to discover things myself. So I don't always have a full amount of info. And I always appreciate getting additional info. So we're going to jog left here on Geyser. I've gotten two comments recently telling me I should stop talking, which I get that. That's uh, a lot of people, a lot of almost all the other channels don't have walking. I think um, Johnny Strides talks. He's up in Toronto. He does a great, great videos up there. Uh, and I think Action Kid TV out of New York City and wherever else he travels. He's kind of a big heavyweight in the YouTube walking world. I find that funny. Um, anyway, he does a great job too and uh, has some great videos of New York City. So check those out. And um, Photo Luke Hawaii does uh, walking videos as well as other videos now from Hawaii and he does a great job too. So check those out. Um, all interesting. Hi there, pup. A oh, little one-eyed dog. This is back on Yellowstone here. This is sort of a big, broad uh, street with a lot of historic homes and it's kind of where the money was back in the railroad days. We're going to come up here to the lagoon. Oh, anyway, um, I've thought a lot about um, do, going silent. Um, I'd love to be able to do both. Um, but I think, one, it's hard for me to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> And two, it's uh, a lot of people like have said repeatedly uh, how much they like the talking. So, uh, in fact, somebody early on called me the Bob Ross of walking videos, which I thought was great. That just tickles me. Um, so anyway, I'm going to keep talking. That's the plan anyway. Uh, the exception of that is nature walks. So. We are going to do some traveling soon, not soon, next month, and we're going to go do some more cities. But in the meantime, probably going to do another walk over in Bozeman at some point. And then um, uh, I think we might have time to do Red Lodge uh, and then again, and then it'll be some nature walks. I'm going to go find some nature trails. And on those walks, I'll do a little talking at the beginning. And then I, uh, I like to just go quiet and listen to the ambient nature sounds and find that a little more relaxing, I think. I think people appreciate that. And it adds a little variety to the mix. We are coming up on the lagoon. Again, it is a Sunday, so it's really quiet today. <clears throat> it's not too cold, as I mentioned. So you can see, this is all fairly shallow. This is kind of the Fleshman Creek of the lagoon. Um, and it's uh, several feet deep in its deepest. You can see a little island there. Usually a lot of ducks and geese in there looking for food. Um, and then over here is the main part of the lagoon. And when it is colder, 
uh, and the ice is it looks pretty solid right now um, is gets nice and thick they people will skate out there they'll shovel off snow maybe set up some hockey that sort of thing although this year they have uh, through some volunteer efforts set aside on the county fairgrounds an indoor skating rink it's pretty small it's not a full-sized hockey rink or anything but it is plenty big for people to get out there and uh, enjoy the ice and since we homeschool we can get down there pardon me and uh, when nobody else is around we just have to make sure one of the volunteers is there to oversee us which is nice and uh, then uh, and one of our homeschool parents has volunteered to do that so that's pretty cool love these ducks flying in here ducks on ice are incredibly silly looks like some folks are going to come down here and maybe feed the ducks they're getting all lined up it's always fun i'm not sure as long as you don't i think if you feed them seeds and that sort of thing it's probably all right but uh, you don't want to feed them bread you know that Over the top there. Hi there. Oh, even got a pigeon in there trying to pretend like it's a duck. Look how happy they are. I love those mallard heads. Ducks are so ridiculously silly, I think. They are so colorful right now. A lot of times in the spring and summer, you can see maybe one down there starting to molt just a little bit. They lose that winter plumage uh, in the spring, and then I think they lose their summer plumage in, in the fall, early fall. And they can get a little ratty looking, but man, they sure were pretty looking there. <clears throat> we'll go up here and see the river. And we won't walk along the river too long, but just a little way. See what's going on. It's ever changing. The water levels change. The channels change. The wildlife changes. Yeah, the water level's really low right now. Can see some crows down here in the rocks. Some even bathing over here. You might even see a heron. I don't know if you can see it really back there on that log. And then you've got the mountains in the background. Livingston Peak just barely visible through the fog. Ah, nice cottonwood. So this is Ninth Street Island, as I point out every time. You can see there's this very faint channel. That, when I first moved here 15 years ago, there was a boat ramp down there and you could put your boat in and float all the way down and it has changed considerably this whole uh, looks almost like a delta but a secondary island here um, it has expanded and expanded and expanded over the years to the point where that boat ramp is no longer usable and there's barely any flow through there in the summer And then you see this current here 
gets wider and then uh, this is a great place to come swimming. Uh, the current can be a little tricky and it's hard to get in and out of that riprap. But if you can get across, then it, it uh, slows down down here before it joins up with the main current and is a great place to uh, cool off when it's 100 degrees down here, which it gets to be some days in the summer. No humidity, of course. Look at this. This is the where they have the summer farmer's market. Um, this pink building is the band shell. We'll go around the other side. But I wanted to see this. They've obviously trimmed back the branches of the spruce trees. But I don't think I've ever seen a spruce tree then re-sprout branches like that. It's pretty interesting. This building is primed for a... It's prime candidate for a rejuvenation grant of some sort. You can also see up just in the eaves there the remnants of swallow nests and they'll come and rebuild those in the spring. And there's a, uh, a camera. That's the first time I've ever noticed that. And here's the band shell part. Uh, and of course you've got some benches to sit but most people put out blankets around here and sit on the ground with their kids. Mostly young families up front and then the cement is a place for everybody to dance if they want and then they'll have booths. Something happened there with my camera and I didn't quite read the message but it stopped and I restarted. We only lost about four seconds but that's interesting. I'm not sure what happened there. Perhaps, I have, I'm shooting at 4K60 today, so maybe um, the right speed or cache or whatever didn't really, uh, couldn't keep up, I guess. This over here is um, the Civic Center, and it's an old gym, gymnasium inside, and they play uh, basketball and volleyball and that sort of thing in there. And then that mural, we'll go over and see the mural, is by, I believe, Parks Reese. Uh, he's a local famous artist. Um, and it has to do with a sister city we have in, I think, China. Hence the panda bear and the grizzly bear. Cranes and the trout. Oh, there's another camera. They have, they've always had these signs up about uh, on video camera or under surveillance. I think to deter um, vandalism, but it's the first time I've actually seen cameras. They've been up there for a while, it looks like. We don't really have a problem here with vandalism so much, I don't think. Every once in a while, somebody will cause a problem. Uh, I think five to ten years ago, somebody was going around breaking into cars and trying to set them on fire. Happened, I think, two or three cars, and then they got the guy. He was, had some mental health issues, I think. Uh, but we're going to go over and see the statue of Pompey and Sacagawea. And I know there is some alternative or variety of pronunciations of those, and I do my best, uh, particularly in foreign languages, or non-English languages in this case. Um, but it's a neat little statue. <coughs> and of course, Sac uh, uh, Lewis and Clark came through here. It's nice. And now, this little dock, which is kind of used to be nice, but it has another candidate for some uh, rejuvenation. It almost doesn't look safe, um, but I can't imagine they'd keep it open if it wasn't. It's a challenge, I think, because of all the ice and the freezing and swelling and heaving of the ground when it does that, <clears throat> when it freezes. Um, here's another view of the front of the Civic Center. 
And I think they did get a grant. I thought they got a grant to do some work on that. And maybe they did some. Could use some more. I mean, that building is... I don't know how old, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was 100 years old at this point. Um, 90? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I should look that up. This over behind this woods, and this woods is part of the property, I believe, is uh, a high school. And they recently, last year, came in here and cleaned out a lot of the underbrush over here. And I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do it's some, with it. Something educational oriented. And uh, I can't really remember what it is. And then, of course, the city pool which they, I keep hearing they're going to close down and they keep opening up every summer, um, which is great. You know, it's a little community like this. You need a pool. Even though we're right next to the river, little kids can't swim in there too easily and can't teach lessons in the river. Um, anyway, glad we still have that. School. We're going to go back up here to Main Street. Which is, we're going to follow Fleshman Creek along here. We're walking into the wind right now. Not much I can do about that other than hold my hand over the microphone. There's usually, oh, yep, there's some ducks down in here. Usually some ducks hang out. We got some wood ducks. Look how pretty they are. Hi, guys. I don't want them to think I'm a predator. Mallards and wood ducks. They're in full plumage. Nice. Yep, there's the high school. The Park County Rangers, as in Park Rangers. This is Fleshman Creek over here, by the way. I was realizing today I think six or nine months ago, I bought a polarizer filter for this camera. <clears throat> and uh, I did it, used it for something else, and I lost the polarizer somehow. And I just haven't bought another one because uh, it's like $30, and I don't really want to buy something that I'll probably just lose again. Although I should have a more positive attitude, uh, more optimistic attitude. Over here is a several medical offices, including a dentist, um, and uh, you're supposed to have your checkups for your kids every six months or so. And they are so short-staffed that, um, and this isn't just them, it's everywhere, uh, that they can't, that it's now eight months out before you can get another appointment. And um, the reason for that is they can't find people, they can't pay enough that people can afford to live here. Um, it's not, this isn't like a minimum, these are, this isn't minimum wage jobs, right? This isn't some company trying to skate by on the bare minimum. They're paying really well, from what I understand. But the one, the prices here are ridiculous. 
not ridiculous. They're just astronomical. And two, there's no inventory. Um, there's just, there's nothing available. Um, <clears throat> this tall building over here is actually uh, low-income housing for seniors. And they are doing a rehab in there, hence all the cubes. I believe, um, and this is the Livingston Enterprise over here, the newspaper coming back on Geyser. So those cubes are doing floor by floor and they're, re they're renovating uh, the building floor by floor, which is going to be great, I think. Because I, you know, same thing. I don't, I'm not sure where those low-income seniors would live otherwise. Granite sports medicine across the way. Look at that fluffy dog. Uh, little Einstein's preschools. It's uh, Sunday, so nobody's here today. Um, and then this big white building is actually uh, Wilcoxon's ice cream. We have our very own ice cream factory here. And it's pretty good ice cream. That's the uh, Granite Sports Fitness and then Rebel Wellness up there. Uh, the blue building is Loaves and Fishes. That's They give out free meals to people that need them. We're on Main Street, by the way. I don't think I called that out. You can see uh, the hill. I've done a walk up there, starting up at the uh, cell tower area up there and making my way down most of the way. So check those out. I think I did those this past summer, maybe. Maybe the summer before even a couple 360 walks up there. I separated out my 360 walks now and experiences to a separate channel called City Walks 360. Should be linked in the description. This is Neptune's Tap House and Eatery. Uh, they have sushi, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to compare it to something out of Japan or San Francisco, but they do a good job. Uh, and I was saying something. I don't know. Anyway, some, a lot of galleries here. A lot of artists here in Livingston. Uh, this used to be an office building. I don't know what they're doing now. It's, it's, acceler it's expanded and expanded and expanded. Um, this little building there rejuvenated. They've been working on it for a long time. And at first, I thought it was just the front offices. Now it seems to be the whole thing. Oh yeah, 360. So you might want to check that out, that channel. Uh, I have posted three non-walking videos over there recently. One was a winter sleigh ride up in Sealy Lake at the Double Arrow Lodge up there, Double Arrow Ranch. Uh, hold on, Out of the Blue Antiques and Betty's Bottle Shop. Really cool little store. Uh, quirky, fun stuff in there. Uh, nice wine if you want to get a nice bottle of wine um, that you can't find at the grocery store. Excellent. Uh, I also, on the 360 stuff, posted, we did a dog sled day that was amazing and i shared some 360 footage of that um <clears throat> uh, pardon me <coughs> um and then also i think i mentioned may have mentioned uh we got to go for a week down to a dude ranch in arizona in january early january and i did about 45 minutes of horseback riding, various sections of that. I think there's six or seven different 
sections. That's about 40 minutes long all together. Um, but check those out if you're interested. They're pretty fun. You can drag and drop. You can drag around the screen with your cursor. Or if you watch on your phone or tablet, you can actually um, just move the tablet around and it will follow the viewpoint of that. So we are between Calendar and Lewis right now. And uh, uh, you see some of these old storefronts? This is where Parks Reese and the Livingston Center for Art and Culture share a space. Uh, he did that mural we looked at earlier. <clears throat> I find it no small source of amusement. There's two banks along this road. One we saw earlier said 41 degrees. The bank up ahead says 36 degrees. <clears throat> and they're never in sync. And they're not constant either. Oh, look at this German short hair in here. Sticking its little nose out. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the kitchen shop if you need high-end kitchen stuff. And we are back at Calendar and Main. And I think we're going to wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Of course, you can see the mint to the right, and you can see Campione. Still haven't eaten there. Was supposed to go there for Valentine's Day, but I got sick, and uh, so gonna give it another couple weeks and try again. Hope you guys have enjoyed this walk. Please leave a comment below, like, thumbs up, all that fun stuff that you do for YouTube. Uh, I appreciate your support. I appreciate your comments, and I hope you guys are staying healthy and well and having a great winter from Livingston, Montana. <clears throat> we'll see you again. Keep on stepping.